So at the moment in CLL we have some very effective agents, uh, agents such as ibrutinib and uh, venetoclax, so BTK inhibitors and BCL2 inhibitors. And these are commonly used in the UK um, and have been used uh, in the relapsed refractory setting now for some time. Um, and they are probably the optimal treatment to give um, after first relapse or, or after immunochemotherapy. The major question, however, that's unanswered um, uh, in, the, in the UK and, and, and broader afield um, is which, which agent to use first. And so um, this was a UK and a US um, collaborative study um, looking at non-trial data um, comparing the use of novel agents um, as their first um, novel agent um, in the relapsed refractory setting. So um, there were over 400 patients in this study comparing the use of venetoclax um, with or without CD20 uh, monoclonal antibodies, um, ibrutinib and idilalisib with rituximab. And the study um, compared these three agents in the relapse setting. The study um, showed that patients uh, who received uh, ibrutinib venetoclax or idilalisib were broadly comparable. So although this isn't a clinical trial, patients had fairly equivalent ages, um, numbers of prior lines of therapy, uh, and um, other uh, significant factors such as uh, TP53 mutations or deletions. And so broadly speaking, the, the populations were comparable. And what we saw was that patients who had um, ibrutinib uh, had broadly the same progression-free survival to those that had venetoclax. However, those that had idolalisib uh, had an inferior progression-free survival compared with either of those two agents. And that was uh, at least in part driven by uh, high levels of toxicity and discontinuation. So I think this, this study um, is important because there's no randomised clinical trials comparing these three agents in the relapse setting. And uh, broadly speaking, this showed that BTK inhibitors and BCL2 inhibitors look uh, equivalent in this setting, although of course you know, there are a number of caveats that come with this data and a randomised study would be, the, would be the key to actually answer this question more formally. But this is helpful in terms of understanding more about the sequencing of therapies in relapsed CLL.